I remember once you put too much magnesium in my toolbox and I only shit my pants in Walmart. Yeah, that was funny. I didn't do it on purpose. I, I don't believe you. I didn't. <laughs> I do not believe you. You have low magnesium but, bowel tolerance. But I remember talking to you about this afterwards and there are just so many different types of magnesiums mm. that you can have, that you can take. Um, and the benefits of magnesium are huge. I mean, you use it. Almost everything. <laughs> 350 processes in the body yeah, and and yeah. it keeps climbing. Yeah, they keep finding more. Mm -hmm. So where would you get magnesium from nature? You'd get it from things like nuts. Seeds, seeds and nuts. Seeds and nuts. Yeah. And if people are deficient in it, which most are, you're going to want to supplement with it, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the fact is the majority of people are magnesium yeah. deficient. Um, and they're going to, especially if they train. Uh, especially now with people so stressed out, stress depletes magnesium, yeah. excess sugar depletes magnesium, stress promotes sugar yeah. uh, accumulation in the bloodstream, which you're going to need more magnesium. So not only are we not getting enough, we don't we have a lifestyle where we don't take in enough magnesium, we've also got a lifestyle where we deplete it even you're further. Depleting a lot, yeah. and then you're training, you're sweating, you're sweating it out, you yeah. know, yeah. So you, you're you're not getting enough in, and you're using too much. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. So what are the different types? Oh, so what you want to look for is so you've got obviously you've got magnesium oxide. It is an it's an excellent magnesium if you want to shit your pants. Is so, that what you gave me? No, I didn't. I gave you a blend. But um, typically, what we I recommend a blend yeah. once you have restored magnesium stores. Um, but if we assume that everybody who comes to us is probably magnesium deficient, yeah. we're going to give them a relatively high dose if they can handle it. I would give people at least five to six hundred milligrams, and in some people, I would give them a lot more. And than you that. would space that out throughout. Yeah, yeah because you if you don't, you're going to give them the green apple splatters. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so we would typically give magnesium glycinate. Yeah. Or yeah. citrate, something like that, because it's relatively cheap. Uh -huh. um, and it's high quality, cheap, and you can give a lot of it. Yes. And we'll typically give a lot for a few months and then start backing off of it and switching to a blend. And is some more absorb absorbable? Absorb yeah, so like the reason magnesium oxide makes you want to yeah. poop is it's only 4% absorbable. Okay. There's a lot of magnesium in it, but it's a magnesium yeah. salt. Yeah. So when you take to, it doesn't absorb well and it goes right through you and yeah. basically make you pee out of your butt. And but magnesium salt baths, are they good? Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Yeah, magnesium salt baths, magnesium oil, use yep. a lot of magnesium oil, like the magnesium chloride. Yeah. You, you know, rub that on your body, and that's that's another good way of, of getting extra magnesium without worrying about the gastrointestinal issues. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of different forms. Uh, we won't get too specific unless yeah. we have to. Like, yeah. if you have someone that needs more mental acuity, we'll give magnesium 3 and 8. It yeah. tends to get into the brain, and, you know, I use a lot of that because yeah. of our studying and research and all that, and, and mental fog and fatigue from traveling mm -hmm. so much. Um, Things like uh, if somebody's having panic attacks, anxiety, arrhythmia, any type of heart issue, we'll give them magnesium taurate mm -hmm. or taurate, and then we'll probably give them a little bit of taurine on the side because yeah. I find that that tends to, to alleviate anxiety. All right. And um, is magnesium a sleep supplement? <laughs> magnesium is. Uh, so does, talk about this? I do. I hate when people say it's a sleep supplement. It's not a fucking sleep supplement. You know what's a sleep supplement? Melatonin. Yeah. But melatonin does other things too. But yeah. the thing with magnesium, is it's a, it does a lot of shit supplement, yeah. right? And it does help, I mean, some people find that it does help them sleep. It does. But there's a reason for that. There is a reason for yeah. that. So if we think about this, A, let's, let's talk about this. You need a lot of magnesium to run the Krebs cycle. You need magnesium to make energy. Yeah. So if you're using magnesium to make energy, and if you need magnesium to bond with adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which mm -hmm. is the energy currency of the body, ATP is not bioavailable until magnesium bonds to it. Yeah. So is it now an energy supplement? No, mm. it's not. It's again, it it's does a lot of. Needs, it's right? whatever your body needs, yeah. your body will use for it. Yeah. So, the way it helps you sleep, though, is magnesium can be very relaxing to the body. Mm -hmm. So, we have to understand that, okay, magnesium is a calcium channel blocker. Yes. Calcium is what makes muscles contract. Yes. So, if you're low in magnesium and have high calcium, yep. then your muscles are going to want to going to contract so all cramps. the time. You're going to get cramps and yeah. your muscles are never going to be able to relax really fully. You know, you, you get somebody who's really tight and they can't really, they're very, very stiff. Yeah. You give them a, a ton of magnesium for a while and all yeah. of a sudden they start to loosen up a little bit. It's because you, magnesium blocks calcium, which makes the muscles relax. Yeah. And also relaxation of the muscles requires energy. Yeah. So you need ATP to actually make your muscles relax. Yeah. You take magnesium, all of a sudden you have more more ATP, yeah. okay? Plus you're blocking the calcium, yeah. your muscles can yeah. relax, yes. and then you find it's easier to sleep. Yeah. yeah, but it doesn't, look, if it was a sleep supplement, right? So let's say, um, 
Okay, you do an electrolyte blend before you train. Yep, it's gonna which be is inclusive of magnesium. Which is going to have magnesium. Have you ever heard of somebody taking magnesium pre-workout, going to squat, and passing out in the middle of a squat? No. No, it doesn't happen. Like, you don't have people that, they don't take magnesium. Yeah. They don't... The only person I know that passes out when they squat is um, Hassan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, anyway. when you're squatting 900 yeah. pounds, that tends to happen. But... Um, yeah. It's not a sleep supplement. You, you're not, you're not going to see in the local paper that, that Joe wrapped his car around a tree because he took 500 milligrams of magnesium, went for a drive, and fell asleep. asleep behind the wheel. It doesn't yeah. happen. That's why it's asinine to say it's a sleep supplement. Yeah.